now that the QTH 5.0 has been launched by QNAP officially, let's see what makes this such a major upgrade. Since um, QTH 5.0 is going to be based on Linux kernel 5.10 LTS, uh, uh, this is going to be a major upgrade from the kernel perspective itself. And all the good things of um, uh, kernel 5.10 um, are going to be um, inherited by QTH 5.0. Uh, there are many uh, new features in uh, kernel 5.10 which are around uh, processors and graphics and there are many new security improvements there is a tighter security there is a uh, meltdown uh, mitigation there is uh, uh, better amd and intel support and uh, a lot of other uh, features as well we'll not look at the kernel itself uh, as much as we look at the qtx 5.0 and for your convenience we have uh, uh, broken that down into three um, there are some uh, performance related enhancements uh, security related enhancements uh, some additional applications that are there in QTH 5.0 and the TPU support. TPU support is not exactly something new because it was added in uh, 4.5.3 but QNAP is continuing it with uh, QTH 5.0 and we'll see what a TPU is and how it helps you with your uh, AI applications in case you uh, you are interested. Uh, but first let's see who will get QTH 5.0. Not all the machines will be eligible for an upgrade because uh, there are architectural issues. But if you own a machine from one of the series that you see on the screen, for example, if you own uh, QNAP TH451D2, then you will be eligible for an upgrade. Um, in case you want to have QTH 5.0 beta before the uh, official version is released, so you can participate in the beta uh, program and um, download it earlier than, um, than the official one. Uh, let's see the uh, security changes which are there in QTH 5.0. Uh, you might have noticed that off late there have been a lot of... Uh, a lot of ransomware and malware attacks that are specifically um, targeted to uh, network address devices not to QNAP in general but in particular but uh, to all the NAS devices in general uh, so all the vendors are taking security uh, very very seriously now um, and so has QNAP so let's see what are those uh, new security enhancements which are there in QTH 5.0 the first one is that it has the TLS 1.3 support now uh, if you don't know TLS is a secure web protocol that makes it possible for you to uh, connect to your QNAP securely over the internet and make sure that your username and passwords are encrypted and are never sent in uh, in plain text right so whenever you you uh, you fire up chrome or firefox for example and type your QNAP IP address and access the admin interface uh, that username and password is not sent in clear text uh, that's the job of TLS um, uh, with the previous version TLS 1.2 was supported but now with QTH 5.0, uh, TLS 1.3 will be supported, which is um, which is uh, faster and more secure. Uh, what it means for you is that you'll be able to log into your QNAP a little bit faster, and uh, uh, it, it it will be more secure because this is the latest version of um, of TLS protocol. Uh, from uh, uh, for for the guys who use SSH or shell on your QNAP, uh, this is a major security uh, enhancement. Uh, traditionally, most of the people who use shell on their QNAP uh, use uh, uh, username and password for authentication and that username um, has to be an admin username because only admin could use uh, SSH. Uh, you could of course use um, a public and a private key uh, pair as well but it was a bit of a hassle to know where to place your public key um, on QNAP and uh, with the firmware upgrade um, you know that, that folder would often get uh, overwritten but now QNAP has made it easy. And you can you can copy your public key um, on QNAP uh, from the uh, GUI itself. Uh, you would of course still have to know how to generate a public and private key uh, pair, uh, how to provide your private key when asked. Um, but uh, on the server side, QNAP has made it easy. In case you don't use SSH, then it wouldn't mean much to you. But if you use SSH, then uh, this is a much much uh, uh, convenient and much more secure way of uh, authenticating with the key. Uh, QNAP has also um, announced that they will be um, uh, launching a reverse proxy soon, uh, which means that um, your uh, your server, which is your QNAP and the application that is running on it, will be masked from the external internet, and um, it will protect your privacy. And it will become difficult for an attacker to do a, uh, for example, denial of service attack uh, on your QNAP because uh, the actual port on the QNAP and the actual IP address can actually be masked with the uh, with the reverse proxy that sits between your your QNAP and the internet. Uh, we don't know much about which uh, reverse proxy would it be because they have not um, uh, launched it uh, in beta, but uh, it will probably be part of the uh, final official version when it comes out. There is also support for WireGuard, uh, which is the, uh, if I might 
but uh, here the world's fastest uh, VPN uh, protocol, uh, right? So uh, you would have been using probably Open VPN so far, which was also extremely easy to implement with the uh, UNEP QVPN. Um, uh, now QVPN will also make it easy for you to use WireGuard. WireGuard is extremely light, which means um, if you have an entry-level machine, uh, you will see a performance improvement immediately because WireGuard runs even on the uh, entry-level processors. Um, if, and there will be um, uh, a performance enhancement in, in all kinds of QNAPs because this is much faster compared to um, OpenVPN. Uh, it takes the bandwidth as well and can survive the uh, persistent uh, connections also between boots. So WireGuard is, 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 should be a choice of, uh, a choice of VPN. Uh, once you upgrade to QTH 5.0, there are some performance enhancements as well. Um, uh, there is uh, enhanced SF, S, SMB and NFS performance. Now, what SMB is, uh, every time you connect to your QNAP uh, from Windows um, as a map drive or as a shared drive, you use SMB protocol at the back, right? So, if you use a Windows to access your QNAP as a shared drive, you will see a performance enhancement there uh, with, uh, with a better SMB protocol enhancement. Um, NFS is generally used with the uh, Linux servers, but if you use SF NFS protocol also, you will see um, a faster uh, file transfer uh, rate. There is uh, also NVMe SSD performance that has uh, been improved probably as a part of the uh, LTS kernel uh, uh, upgrade itself. Uh, there are two new applications that QNAP has launched. One is called QUFTP and one is called Drive Analyzer. Uh, now QUFTP is, uh, uh, is, is just a little bit more than the good old uh, FTP server. Uh, QNAP always had the FTP server uh, functionality but that was at the core level itself and not as an add-on application. But QUFTP works as an add-on application. Uh, there is a quality of service built in which means you can define which user gets to uh, have the best bandwidth and which users or the group of users can uh, uh, should uh, the connection be throttled for. Uh, there is a rules engine also which is uh, time based uh, and there is support for some FTP clients as well uh, that's QUFTP and another application is called Drive Analyzer which uses AI to uh, monitor your drives. This is a subscription based service. Uh, it uses AI to basically keep scanning your drive uh, uh, periodically and provide you a report in case it sees that your drive is going to be failing soon. This was there earlier but uh, QNAP has officially launched it with uh, 5.0 and the last uh, the major uh, enhancement is that there is uh, TPU support that was earlier launched and uh, continuing with 5.0. Uh, what TPU is? TPU, uh, you can think of, of a TPU as a specific grade of GPU uh, that's made by Google. Uh, for Google's own TensorFlow, right? So if your AI application uses TensorFlow um, and you have a TPU, uh, then your application will be able to uh, uh, able to uh, uh, recognize the images faster, right? Uh, it it uh, you you need the uh, the support from the uh, operating system. Number one. You need the support in the application because that application must be using uh, TensorFlow number two, and number three, you must have the um, the GPU or the TPU itself. Uh, QNAP sells two kinds of uh, TPUs. One is um, uh, the, one is the Corel M.2 accelerator that goes into the M.2 M slot of your uh, uh, machine, and the other is the USB accelerator. So if you if you take these um, and install them, you will be immediately able to see the uh, benefit in applications like uh, QU Magi. Um, and QVR face. Uh, you can also develop your own AI application around these and make use of TensorFlow. Um, just go to the container station, look at the AI application that or the framework that you that you like, um, and you can do a pass through to your uh, TPU easily. So that's it about uh, QTH 5.0. Uh, hope you liked it. Uh, if you have uh, uh, any questions or comments, please feel free to ask, and we will answer them for you. Thank you.